which you may have. This is the pre-construction community meeting for traffic signal improvements at the intersection of Western Center Boulevard and Sanchez Boulevard. This is in Council District 4. Before I get started, are there any representatives from Council? Okay, so I'm Fanta Kaba. I am project manager here at the city of Fort Worth and the project engineers are Kim Lee Horn and Associates and we have EARTC as the contractor. For tonight's agenda, we'll go over the project background. We'll give an update on the project, project schedule, as well as project contact information. So this project was identified for traffic signalization in 2022. Objectives include improving traffic operations and safety at the intersection. We're planning on installing a new traffic signal to improve mobility and pedestrian safety. We're proposing to widen the median on both eastbound and westbound directions to provide zero offset left turn lanes, as well as improve pedestrian access elements such as ADA compliant curb ramps, sidewalks, APS push buttons and crosswalks. This project is funded by the 2022 bond. So our project location, we're just east of I-35 at the intersection of Western Center Boulevard and Sanso Boulevard. For our project schedule, we're currently working on executing the construction contract Right-of-way and TC acquisition is in process, estimated to be completed this month. There is no utility relocations required. We are anticipating construction start to be April of this year for a duration of six months. The estimated cost of construction is just over $650,000. Some conditions to expect during construction include that work will be completed during the day, lane closures during non-peak hours, various daily lane closures, and no detour routes are needed. Project contact information, construction contractor, we have Luis Persino with EARTC Inc. We have design project manager, Abhishek with Kimley Horn and Associates, and then myself, Fanta Cabo with the city of Fort Worth. And then this meeting is for the intersection traffic signal improvements at Western Center and Sancho. However, if you have any concerns or any other proposed locations for traffic signals, these are a few avenues for you to submit those requests. We have the My Fort Worth app for Apple, for Google, you can also text hello to 817-835-6939. We have the city call center at 817-392-1234. And then also on the city of Fort Worth website, there is a chat box. So that is the end of this presentation. Again, thank you all for joining us and we are now opening up for questions. Hello, <clears throat> are you there? Yes. So, uh, I know that there's uh, an apartment building right next to me that is opening up and they're filling up. There's over 500 units. <clears throat> um, this is going to cause a lot of congestion as tenants go in there. Um, is there, uh, if this project isn't going to be completed for another six or eight months, I think there's going to be more and more traffic at that intersection. So are you concerned about maybe being a little behind in schedule and uh, safety concerns? I mean, it could be an accident there because it's pretty dangerous as it is. Yeah, 
Yes, so because of material delays in that acquisition process, so that's that's where we're getting our anticipated start date from. We have been proactive and ordering the long lead items months ahead of time. So as I mentioned, we are anticipating to start in April as soon as possible for a duration of six months. <clears throat> Okay, good luck on that. Um, the other thing is at the other end of San Shell, it's equally busy and uh, it's really uh, a challenge getting out there, especially at rush hour. So, in other words, I, do you have any plans for a traffic signal at uh, Basswood and San Shell? <clears throat> So this project is solely for Western Center at Shansell. However, if you don't mind putting in a request through one of these avenues, it will be routed to that department to be added on their list for review. So uh, the necessity for these projects are citizen or originated. I mean, isn't, doesn't the public works have uh, some control over or monitoring what intersections have a lot of traffic? Yes, yeah, so that okay. is a different department that they are over coming up with the list of proposed traffic signals and also looking mm -hmm. into citizen requests. Okay, well, so, we've got... Uh, a bad situation at both ends of Sanshell, both Western Center and and Basswood. So uh, I think it's going to be a, a difficult time for the next year, especially with all the the new growth impacts at those both those intersections. That's all I have to say. We can take in that request and I'll forward it to our transportation management department. Uh, but what happens is we get in all the requests and those requests are prioritized by our transportation management department uh, based on uh, how quick you need it or like the safety concerns and the traffic growth and all those factors. So uh, it might be in the next few years or so, or uh, we are not sure. We cannot give you a timeline right now, but uh, we can surely add that location as one of the proposed uh, uh, locations for the future projects. Well, the ones that are, are currently under consideration and have been prioritized is that does that list exist somewhere? I'm not sure if it's in a form of a list, but. Um, that prioritization is a list. So uh, uh, this came up at this point and was funded by the bond program. Are there others that have already been in the mill? And does that list exist somewhere for the public? Yes, we have seven project uh, traffic signal projects currently that will be starting construction and are under design. Um, I can share that list with you if you could provide me the contact. Uh, I'm not sure if it's publicly available though. Okay. Okay. I did put a message in the chat that uh, hadn't been caught yet. Uh, there was recently several lane closures in the process of putting in the drainage or sewage uh, project at the bridge on the uh, east and westbound lanes of Western Center at the bridge between Sandshell and the freeway. Um, they were you know, several days when they were alternating, repaving, re redoing those those blocks. Uh, is there any part of this construction that's going to be to that extent? Even though it's said in here. Uh, lane closures only during the day uh, and non peak times. Will there be anything that's going to cause one for several days because of some, some of the concrete work? Luis and Anna, do you mind taking that question about uh, conditions during construction? Yes, um, about the conditions, um, we, you usually try to to keep the area safety and work just 
uh, with permit, uh, traffic control permit, time, whatever. Usually our hours uh, is between or between uh, nine to three thirty usually. Um, but it depends the our peak hours that uh, if we cut some concrete or remove some concrete, usually we, we install fence and put some signs, barricades, whatever we need. But of course, those uh, this construction is gonna affect the traffic, but it's, you know, it's, it's a new improvement, traffic signal improvement that takes some time just uh, be patient that we are going to take care about all uh, good condition in the area. At the same time, you can call me if you need something. Just let us know about some inconvenient. Okay. I guess there's nothing I really need to call you. I was, was, was just kind of, I don't know if somebody from the construction company is doing the work is on. Um, I get, in, in, just looking at the brief picture you showed, it looks like the only real concrete type work will be in the median. So, um, is there anticipated to be any re rebuilding of the road uh, itself, or is it just the median work that really is going to be uh, uh, the, the heavy road work that would be uh, causing the lane closures? Yeah, um, each each demolition cause some lane closures because uh, it's for safety conditions mm -hmm. uh, for drivers and for us too, every people, everybody in uh, on the job site and around the job site. Um, but usually just we just uh, close one lane at the time. Sometimes we need to close uh, two lanes, but in different ways. On the same ways, you know, and if we are working in the east side, east bound, we just can close one lane at a time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Again, it looks like there's not going to be any road tearing up like there was near the bridge. So now the other thing I see that might be an impact is I live in the Fossil Park area, which is just to the east of this. There's a lot of people that come out on Friends Way. Uh, go westbound and turn left and make a U-turn there uh, at that intersection. Um, how long will that left turn lane uh, the, in the uh, east, I'm sorry, west the westbound left turn lane be out? Because there'll be a lot of traffic that comes down there and makes that U-turn there. Yeah, I mean, um, usually the medians, the median work is the last uh, thing on the project. Because uh, we need to be sure everything on the corners is ready to attack the medians. But uh, usually it takes two weeks at least. Okay, so it won't be started until towards the end, and it should be just a few weeks out of commission. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have any more questions? Are there any other questions, comments, or concerns?
I might just. Sure, go ahead. Okay, well, thank you all again for joining this community meeting for the Western Center and Sancho Traffic Signal Project. Again, I will go back to our contact information. If you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out. Thank you all and have a nice evening. Thank you.